Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I'm doing a mermaid collab with a bunch of my friends from Instagram and here on YouTube. I'm so excited about this one because when I was little, I always loved The Little Mermaid. It was my favorite movie and I always wanted to be Ariel. <laughs> so I'm really excited to do this collab even though I'm last minute doing it. <laughs> Um, I've seen pretty much everybody's looks so far and they are incredible. Make sure you guys go check out their videos and Instagram posts. I'm being joined with Caitlin again, Brittany, Courtney, Kimberly, Katie, and also Leanne. Making sure I'm not forgetting anybody, but they will all be linked down below in the description box as well as like their videos, that type of ordeal as well. But we're going to jump right into this look. I am first going to be going into some primer to get that on my skin and sinking down in. Let's just ignore this new friend that is popping up right now. I'm going into the Yinsa Tone Up Primer Essential Glow because it has good ingredients for my skin and it's also going to give me a healthy glow. I of course already have my brows done and my eyes primed with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. We're going to jump straight into the eyes. A lot of this is going to be sped up. Um, not too much talking because I know I'm going to be trying to be concentrating. I am going to be using my ABH Riviera palette for this look because I'm wanting to stick with some purples. So I'm first going to be going into that beautiful purple shade that's matte in this with just a fluffy blender brush. And I'm going to be very light with this shade and adding it to my entire, pretty much, base of my eye. <laughs> Now I'm going to be going into the Sales shade, which is just a bright matte white. This is going to be used on my brow bone and very inner corner. Going back into my blender with no extra product, I'm just going to blend up into that highlight. Now the tricky part, which I don't think I've ever used before or done this method before, but doing the scales, this is just a wig. Um, cap <laughs> that I'm going to be using. So I'm actually going to usually you stretch it out to make scales, which I plan on doing on my face, but for my eyes, I'm just actually going to leave it a little bit tighter to where there are smaller scales on my actual eye. And I'm going to pat down the metallic uh, bluish purple shade in this palette right there. I think it'll be really pretty as like the scales over this purple shade. And I'm literally going to do it over, I think my entire eye. I want my skin to stay very natural, dewy, and light. So I went into the Pearly's Perfect Glow BB Cream in the shade Fair. And then to just conceal those blemishes, brighten up my under eye and highlight points, I went into my Infallible Full Wear Concealer from L'Oreal in the shade Porcelain. Since I don't want my under eyes to crease, I applied some translucent setting powder. This is the Magic Star from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Just the translucent and only underneath my eyes because I'm going to be going into some cream products. I'm first going to be taking my Tardis Pro Glow Palette from Tarte, and I'm going to be taking the Shade Shade, which is their cream contour. Now I'm going to be going into the Flesh Beauty. This is their highlighting stick in the shade Startle. And I want to be very glowy for this look. I 
I went ham with blush. I'm using one of my ABH blush trios. This is the pink passion one and I used basically which is like the pinky purple deeper one. But I went pretty full with it and my guy is popping back through a little bit. I am going to double up on highlighter because I'm really wanting to dip into strobe. Yes, strobe, which is kind of a shimmery, um, which I think would be really pretty for Mermaid. Next, I'm going to be taking the Shimmer Eye Glaze from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the shade Ocean Child, and I'm going to be using this as an inner corner highlight. I'm going to try to apply it with a brush, but the best payoff with these is usually with your finger. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of that purple and blending it along my lower lash line. Now some more scales. So looking super cute, I just put the um, little fishnet wig cap over my head and patted down both the purple shade and then like the shimmery purple shade too, just to add a little bit of extra oomph there. Going to set my face with some Skin & Co spray. I think it's looking pretty cool. They do look more like squares. I think it was a little too stretched um, instead of like actual scales, but I still think it's pretty cool. I love the shades together, the purples. I'm going to be using the Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. I don't think you guys have seen this in a video yet. Um, the video I pre-filmed using this mascara, I think will be coming this coming week for you guys. But I'm really liking this. Since the only purple liners I have for my lips are like deep berry, I'm taking a cream gel liner, which is an eyeliner from ColourPop, but it's a bright purple shade in the shade Piggy Bank. And I'm using that as a lip liner. And now I'm going to be going into Beach Bum, which is a matte uh, lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. Using my finger, I'm just patting those together to blend them out. This is my completed mermaid look. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Make sure you check out the other beautiful women in this collab. I cannot wait to see their videos. And to all of you in this collab, thank you so much for having me be a part of it. I had so much fun. I feel like this is one of the most creative looks I've done in a while. It's getting me super pumped and excited for Halloween and all the Halloween looks I have in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.